everyone. We are so glad to have you with us today on The Nozzle. Now, this is a place where we have a lot of fun while we learn. I am Janet. I am Charlie. And I am... Marara. Uh, ah. <laughs> Alright, now, we have a lot of fun stuff lined up for you. Like, out there with my speedy and fun numbers with Teacher Pendo. That's right, and I'm so excited about today. I can't wait to start. Well, that makes all of us. So why don't we go into the chill-out zone and meet our friends who are waiting for us. Hello, everyone. Thank you, friends. We are glad to meet you and glad that you came to visit us. Now, let's not forget the ones who are watching us at home. Let's say hello to them. Hello! Now, I am sure they are waving back at us right now. Now, let's get straight into it. Who's going to tell us what today's show is all about? It's about school! Exactly! Now, that means it's something that we all know about. So, what are the buzzwords? Story! Five. Quickly. Happily. For your friends at home, we hope you were able to write down these buzzwords. So be sure to look out for them in today's episode and in the next adventure. Oh, Janet, mm. I wrote them down and I'll be watching out for them. <laughs> That's very good, Marara. But right now, why don't we go and find out what our friends are getting up to as we visit the Playhouse. Now what is needed is for you to be in groups of three and write a poem of why I love school. We will have a competition here tomorrow and the group that wins will present the poem to head teacher Elvis, okay? I will pin the list of all the groups that we need here. So good luck and see you all tomorrow. This is so exciting. I can't wait to see Teacher Elvis smile and clap for us. Do you think that we'll need to come in school uniform or, or we'll be allowed in home clothes? I think I know exactly what we'll wear tomorrow. It reads here, all group members will recite the point. Oh no, I can't stand in front of the class. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh boy, I'll faint. This is gonna be so much fun. We'll beat you hands down. I can't wait. Let's go to the playhouse and write our poem. Aren't you guys coming along? Or have you already given up knowing that we'll win? It's our turn to sweep the playhouse today. It's going to be dusty. I think it's a good idea you remain here and practice the poem. We'll do quickly. Good idea. what the plan is. Yes, what is that thing that will help us stop being shy? Patience, patience. Mr. Zippo is the solution. Mr. Zippo, how? Let's call out to him. Mr. Mr. Zippo! Uh, 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 maybe Vopo. Mr. Zippo, how are you today? Well, really sleepy. I was just starting to have my afternoon nap. Huh. So, what's the story here? We have a poem to present. The problem is we are shy and can't say it in front of the whole class. Oh, well, that's really simple. Just stand there and pretend there is no one there with you. <gasps> we really need to win and, and present in front of the head teacher Elvis. And we can't do it if I end up fainting or forgetting all the words.
Uh, wait, uh, let me ask you. Did the athlete always know how to run quickly? And did the chef always know how to cook? Did you always know how to speak? Now listen, if a door is always shut, then it's not a door, it's a wall. You can open any door you want, all you need is just the key. Oh, and please do your thing quietly. I'm sleeping. <gasps> be able to write a poem on why we love our school. They should have told us to write on why I love my farm instead. How could have that been better? Hey! My school is the best. My teachers are the best. My classmates are the best. And we are the best. That's why we should be the ones to go present it in front of the head teacher Elvis. We came up with that. Ah, horrible, horrible, horrible. Everybody will laugh at us. We can't give up now. We have the confidence it takes. Confidence without the words? It's useless. I agree. I love the poem. Yeah, it's brilliant. Why did it have to be a spoken competition? It would have been written, we would have been number one. There's nothing stopping us from winning. Focus, guys. Let's be honest, there is no way we are beating the other group. The three of them are so confident. If you two continue like this, I'm going to quit. We need to start practicing the poem. That's what Mr. Zippo told us. Practice makes perfect. Good. Shall we now all stand in line? School. School. A five-letter five word. Six-letter word. Five. Let's count. Let's not argue. School is important because we get... That's a good idea. Let's start writing. S C C H O L. Double O. Single O. Double O. Single. S. C. H. Double O. L. L. Okay, I accept defeat. Let's continue. Oh, nice last week. Yeah, let's go, come on. Wait until, wait until the other group sees this. School. Cool. A six-letter six word. What is there not to love about school? S, S for success. C for cut. Coat. For cut. Coat. For cut. Coat. For come. After that short break, now let us have Luigi, Promise, and Daphne. Boys and girls, we are here to present to you our poem entitled Why We Love School. Welcome. School is important because we get an education. School is important because if you stay at home, surely, what is there to do? School is important because it will help us to be future doctors, teachers, teachers musicians, and anything we want to be. Thank you. Those were very wise words. Thank you very much. 
although I'm afraid that you did not narrow it down really to why you love school. Your poem was more of why school is important, but nice attempt though. Clap for them again. <laughs> to our last group now, Anne-Marie, Theo, and Zach. Give them a hand. ourselves a winner. Anne Marie's group, you're the winner for today. You have beaten us hands down. Yes. We're sorry we were rude earlier. That's okay. We are still your friends, right? Right. right. Yay! From Playhouse, this is Queasy Quiz. What are the poems the children wrote about? Write a poem of why I love school. Why did Anne Marie not want to read her poem? The problem is we are shy and can't say it in front of the whole class. That was a great adventure. You know, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, actually, so did I. What about you? Did you all enjoy the adventure? Yeah! All right, now, we also hope that for you at home, you enjoyed it. Now, how did you do with the questions that Queasy asked? Did you get all of them correct? Well, yes! that, that's great. Now, Janet, yeah. I answered all of them, and Teacher Pendo would be really, really proud of me. That is very good to know, Marara. And, ooh, speaking of Teacher Pendo, it's time for us to join her as we head into the learning zone for more fun with our words in... Cool Words! Hello everyone. Hello, Hello teacher Pendo. How are you all today? Fine. Fine. Ah, very good. Now, did you notice how I used the word how when asking you how you are today? Um, yes, teacher Pendo, but what is so important about the word how? That's a good question, Marara. Now, we use the word how to ask lots of questions. So I asked, how are you? Now, what I'd like us to do is to think of some more examples of how questions. Now, one will ask the question and somebody else will give us an answer. So, Lisa and Elizabeth, would you like to go first? How old are you, Lisa? I am six years old. Ah, well done. And what about you, Anjiro and Bulabek? How is the weather today? The weather is very sunny. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Now, how about one more question? Marara, do you want to ask me something? Um, um, uh, uh, teacher Pendo? Yes? How can I do better at school? Aha, uh -huh, that's a good question, Marara. As I always say, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. Practice makes Perfect. Oh, thank you very much, teacher Pendo. Now, listen very carefully, everyone. This is an exercise book. These are exercise books. Now, who can tell me the difference between what I said? Yes, Elizabeth? This is and this are. Aha, uh -huh, very good. So that is the difference. This is and these are. Now, when we are talking about just one object, we use this is. And when we are talking about more than one object, we use these are. Now, let's practice. I'd like you to pick up an object from the table and you can choose how many you pick up, but then you either use this is or these are correctly. Now, who would like to start us off? 
Yes, Lisa? This is a pencil. Excellent. This is a pencil. And because you picked one pencil, you used this is. Now, who would like to go next? Yes, Wanjiro. These are rubbers. Well done. These are rubbers. So you picked two rubbers, and that's why we used the plural. Next, Bulabek. This is a sharpener. Excellent. And Elizabeth? These are rulers. Excellent. These are rulers. And Marara, do you want to give it a try? Oh, yeah, sure. Mm. This is a pen. Brilliant. I see you've all understood the difference between this is and these are. And how did you get on at home? We hope you did just fine. Be sure to join us later on for more on Cool Words. Right now, though, it's time to take another trip with my speedy. Oh, that's right. It's time for Out There. Education is one of the most important tools of personal development. You get an education by going to school. Apart from reading and writing, there are a lot of other important things that you can learn while in school. This may include how you stay clean and organize your personal effects neatly, communication, proper manners, and many other things. Today, we are at Buruburu Baptist Church School. This is a special school. It has all kinds of pupils, including mentally impaired ones. This is my friend. His name is Mina. He is one of the pupils here. Despite their challenges, though, they can go to regular schools, make friends, enjoy life, and even get jobs when they are old enough. Most people don't understand this condition, so I'm told that a group of pupils and teachers have gone out of the school compound into the streets to sensitize people about Down syndrome. Come on, good people, come on. Let's go and look for them and join in. Today is a special day as the pupils celebrate World Down Syndrome Day. Look, <laughs> they chant happily as they educate the community around them about this condition that is rarely put to open discussion. This is very interesting and a very good way of teaching people about something. You see, learning goes on everywhere. Come on, come with us. We are back in the school compound. As the day officially kicks off, everyone has to register at the front desk as proof of attendance. Let's get some informative documents. Wow! <laughs> what do we have here? These are items that have been handmade by the pupils themselves. While these pupils have difficulties, they have many other abilities. Look at how beautiful these are. Let me try this beautiful necklace on me. <laughs> it looks nice on me, doesn't it? Just have a look at this bag. And this mat, aren't they just beautiful? The main reason for holding this event today to sensitize you and I about Down syndrome. Therefore, the pupils have prepared some presentations to entertain us as we learn about this condition. First of all, we will have a poem. We all have abilities, we all have qualities. We remind the societies of all nationalities that disability and inability have never been synonyms. Thank you. <laughs> These pupils are talented.
This is a story that you can share with some of your friends. It is important to spend time with people with disability in our society so that they don't feel lonely and shut out since we are all one big family. Wow! <laughs> that was an interesting day. Time passed by so quickly. It's time for me to say goodbye to my friend Mina and all the other wonderful friends that I have met today. Goodbye! Goodbye, good people! Thank you, Maspidi, for taking us on that wonderful trip out there. It made our day. That's right, and Maspidi always learns so much wherever he goes. And he's always joking and having fun. You know, one day, I think I might just go with him. Ooh, you know what? That actually sounds like a very good idea, Mara, but it will have to wait because we need your help with our next game. Oh, I know what you mean, Janet. And I already have my pencil ready and my paper ready. And Mara, I'm going to. Alright, Mara, we get it. You're ready. Now we are ready to cheer for our friends. It's time for our first game, Marara's Shopping List. Yay! Welcome to Marara's Shopping List. Now that's right. Now I've been given a shopping list by my mom. But I am not sure if I have the right amount of things. Oh, come on, Mara. You know we're going to help you. Of course we're going to help you, Mara. Now, the shopping list is very simple. There are four items on the list. Now, how do you complete the list? You come forward and you count the items. Then you get the rest of the items from the market and bring them back to the basket. Now, after your turn, tag your next team member like this so that they can help you get the next item from the market. Now, remember, you have to make sure you do this before the market closes. Now, when you help me get my shopping list right, you do not go home empty-handed because you get these fabulous books to take back to your school. And of course, we have a special prize for each one of you. Are you ready? Yes! Oh, I know that sound. The shop is about to close. Team leader, off you go. All right, the first item is five exercise books. Okay, so how many do I have? One. How many more do I need to make five? Four. Four. Go, 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 go. That's it, that's it. Grab the five exercise books. That's it. Tag the next person. Tag the next person. Tag the next person. All right. Now, the next item is nine sharpeners. So how many do I have? One, two, three. How many more do I need? Help her. Help her, help her. How many, how many more do I need to make nine? Ah, come on, come on, man. Quick, 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 quick. saying five. Five. There you go. Five. Are you sure? Come on, come on, come on. Quickly, 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 quickly. Five, five, five. Put them there. Go, 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 go. Put them there. Come on back, come on back. All right. The next item is seven mark pens. That's seven mark pens. And how many do I have? Two. Two. How many more do I need to make seven? How many more? How many more? How many more do I need to make seven? Um, okay, he said five. Five, 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 Charlie, let's find out how everyone did. Ooh, now, that was actually really, really close. The team just made it in time. Now, let's find out how they did. First up, we had five exercise books. Now, Marara only had one exercise book in his basket. So, how many more would he have to get to make five? Four. Four. Marara, how many exercise books did the team bring you? Okay, let's find out. One, two, three. Ooh, oh, four, four. Wow. Well done, team. Well done. <laughs> Congratulations. That is correct. One plus four equals five exercise books. Now, the second item was nine sharpeners. Marara already had three in his basket. How many would you have to add in order to make nine. It's all right, just speak You can up. all say it. Speak up. 
Five? All right, they say five. Marara, how many sharpeners did the team bring you? Okay, let's find out. Oh, wait, there's a book there. Oh my. Do you need help? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll we? help you out with that. <laughs> All right, Marara, give us the count. How many do they have? One, two, three, four, five. Five is what they said. But the answer is actually six. six. Ah, you oh. missed it by oh. one. But well done. A very good try. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> well done, team. Now, the next item on the list is seven mark pens. Marara already had two mark pens in his basket. So how many would you have to add to make seven? How many did you say? Just uh -huh. say. Five. Right. Marara, how many mark pens did they add into your basket? Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five, that is correct. Well done, team. That is correct. Two plus five makes seven mark pens. So congratulations with that one. And finally, the last item is five dictionaries. Now, Marara only managed to get two dictionaries. However, he needed to add a few more. How many did he need to add in order to get to five dictionaries? All of you. Three. Three. All there right. Go. Marara, how many dictionaries did the team bring you? Okay, let's count. One, two, three. Yes. Yay. Congratulations, team. Well done. That is correct. If you do two plus three, you come up with the five dictionaries. So congratulations for solving three out of the four sums. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, team, unfortunately, you got one sum incorrect. That means that you do not get to take back the textbooks to your school, but, Mara, I have a special prize for each one of you just for taking part. Number team, come on up and get your prizes. Come, 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 come. It's okay, just go get your prize. I love playing Marara's shopping list because that's what the No Zone is about. We have fun, we play games, we learn. Ooh, talking of learning, Charlie, it's time for us to go and learn something new about our environment with Dunia. It's our world. Hello everyone, my name is Dunia and welcome to our world. Today is going to be so much fun, I can't wait. We are going to do some clay modeling. So get ready to make some amazing things out of clay. I've brought you to Daiga Primary School near Nanyuki to see what the pupils here are making today. The reason I've traveled to this school is because I had them make some of the best clay models around. They get the mud from their school property by digging a hole deep into the ground. They mix a bit of water in with the soil and that's it. They are ready to create. First, they pat down the mud and then start molding it into shapes. Most of them are making animals. Can you guess what some of the animals are? Shout them out loud before the name appears on the screen.
all those monkeys in the tree. What a great idea. And what about this huge cat? That's great. This one is really clever. It is a person riding a horse. And how about this one? Two people on a camel. Wow, look at that. Some of them are making their names out of clay. They do this by taking a ball of clay and rolling it in their hands till it becomes a long, warm shape. Then they put them together to spell their names. This boy is called John. Okay, so I tried to make something too. Now you're not allowed to laugh, okay? But I'm going to show it to you and then you have five seconds to guess what it is. Ready? It's a bucket! When you have finished making your clay models, you should put them in the shade to dry so the clay does not crack from the heat of the sun. I have a great experiment for you. See if you can collect different types of clay modeling samples from around your area. Add some water and see which material is the best for creating objects with. I'm so impressed with your clay models and I can't believe how many creatures have been made today and they are all fantastic. Well done Daiga Primary School, you have proved to be very talented artists. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you for teaching us. I hope that has inspired you to try this at home or at school. All you need is some soil and some water. Well, I better be going, but I will catch up with you next time on our world. Take care. See ya. You know, our world is so precious, we really need to take good care of it. That's very true, Maya. And actually, this week, I helped the environment by picking up litter. And let's find out from our studio guests. Uh, Feverist, what did you do to make the environment better this week? I helped up by cleaning up the school. That is very, very cool, Feverist. Now, for you watching at home, it's very important for us to all take care of the environment. And we can all do something, no matter how big or small it is. That's right, Charlie. We can all help. Oh, but you know what? Right now, we are going on a short break. But don't go away because the fun isn't over. Of course it isn't over. We still have Teacher Pendo coming to talk to us about how fun our numbers can be. And we have fun with words and letters on Spell It. That's right. So join us for more fun right here on the... Nice That's right. See you really, really soon. the no zone. Now today we're talking about school. That's right. Now do you all remember the buzzwords? Let's remind everyone at home what the buzzwords are. Story. Point. Quickly. Happily. Lovely. Now remember to look out for these buzzwords at home. Hey, quickly, quickly, quickly. Get ready, get ready. Oh, wait. I just used a buzzword. Did you all hear it? Yes, yes, Mariah, you definitely used a buzzword. But right now, why don't we go and join up with Teacher Pendo? She's going to be taking us for more fun with numbers in... Hot Numbers! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hot Numbers. Hello, Hello Teacher Pendo! Pendo. 
Now, today I'd like us to start with some counting before we look at reading and writing numbers. Oh, teacher Pendo, counting again. Yes, Marara, practice makes perfect. But why don't I let you all choose what counting we do today? Okay, so first, let's have a number to start with. Yes, Malcolm. 232. Aha, uh -huh, very good. And shall we count forwards or backwards? Yes, Roylands. We'll count forwards. Excellent. And shall we count in ones, tens, or in hundreds? Yes, Feverest. Hundreds. Very good. So we are counting forwards in hundreds from 232. And let's count all the way to 932. Marara, will you start us off? Um, 232. 332 432 532 632 732 uh, 732 832 Well done everyone that's very good counting Now as well as counting we also need to know how to write and read our numbers Now our numbers can be written in two ways as figures or as words For example we can write number 11 as a word or in figures. Okay, now on the board, I have some numbers written in words. Now I'd like you to tell me what the number should be in figures. Now, who'd like to go first? Yes, Carlton. Three. Very good. Okay, and the next one? Yes, Malcolm. Five. Well done. Next one. Roylands, do you want to try this one? Yes. Uh -huh. Show us the number. Brilliant. One. Okay. Feverest? Seven. Excellent. Who's going to show us two? Marara? Aha, uh -huh. well done. Excellent. Okay. And four, Carlton. Brilliant. Moving on to six. Yes, Malcolm? Six. Aha, uh -huh, well done. You're all doing so well. Nine. Yes, Roylands? Nine. The next one, Feverest? Eight. Well done. Brilliant work, everyone. Now, I'd like to switch things a little bit. So this time, I am going to show you some numbers in figures, and then you are going to write the numbers down in words using the pen and paper in front of you. Okay, so Malcolm, are you going to try for us the first one? Okay, just write it down for us. Rylands, write 18 for us. Those at home? 18. 18, excellent. Feverest, I want you to try the next one, 21. Well done. Okay, Carlton, do you want to try 34 for us? Yes. Write for us 34. Well done. Marara, could you write for us the number 45? Mm, almost right, Marara, but have a look at the number 40. You have to be really careful when writing 40. Marara has written it as F-O-U-R-T-Y. Now, it should be 40. Marara, just try that again. Very good, Marara. You see, practice makes perfect. 
Well, yes, Teacher Pendo. And are we going to write three digit numbers today? <laughs> well, I'm saving that for next week. Today, I wanted to make sure that we can all read and write numbers from single digits to two digits. It's always good to start small, then introduce the bigger numbers. Well, that sounds like a really great idea, Teacher Pendo. Thank you, Marara. Well, I'm afraid we've run out of time for today, but we'll be back next time with more hot numbers. Right now, though, it's time to get creative. That's right. It's time for Creative Zone. Welcome to Creative Zone. And as always, we have lots of fun lined up for you today. And we are going to have fun with poetry today. Now, I'll suggest that you grab a pen and paper for today's lesson. We have a friend, and she is called Mwende. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Mwende, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. Welcome to Creative Zone. Thank you, thank you. Well, hello everyone. I know you are wondering what a poem is. Well, a poem is art using words to talk about any subject or feeling. Many poems have a rhyme and they work in verses. Okay, now that sounds great, but one question. Uh -huh. Can you use any word to make a poem? Yes, you can. I mean, you don't have to use hard words. You can use the simplest words as possible. I think I'll need a pencil and paper for this. So you go on and I'll catch up with you later, okay? Okay. All right, bye. Bye. All right, friends. Why don't we try writing a simple rhyming poem out of the buzzwords for today? That is, happily, quickly, poem, story, and shot. So why don't we write down the words and then decide on words that rhyme? Now on your sheet of paper, write down a sentence that ends with quickly. For example, the little girl walked to the shop quickly. Got that? Then the next sentence can end with the word happily. For example, she skipped and jumped and played happily. You see, these two sentences ended with words that rhyme, quickly and happily. Next, write a new sentence with words that rhyme. She bought a cake in the shape of a lorry. And end with a word that rhymes, for example. And that is the end of our lovely little Story. See, all the words at the end rhyme. Quickly, happily, lorry, story. Listen to the poem again. The little girl walked to the shop quickly. She skipped and jumped and played happily. She bought a cake in the shape of a lorry. And that is the end of our lovely little story. Now how easy was that? Now you can try and do what I've done today. Write simple sentences and make sure that the end rhyme. And it really doesn't matter, just as long as you're having lots of fun. That is all for me for today. But if you want the chance to get your poem read on the show, then get writing and send it to the following address. Poetry Competition, Media Company, PO Box 2150502, Karen Nairobi. So keep having fun and try writing a poem or two. See you soon. Bye. I really enjoyed Creative Zone. You know, it's actually my favorite part of the show. I know, I know. I really enjoyed it too. Although, my favorite part of the show is hot numbers because I like playing with numbers. Hey, Charlie. Yo. What about you? Uh, I actually think my favorite part of the show is coming up next, which means it's time to get your thinking caps on. It's time for... Spelling! Animal, animal, chapter, animal. building, narrow, building. respect, respect. deep, vegetable, work. 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 work, work. Welcome to Spell It! 
This is the place where we have fun with our words and our letters. Now, Roylands, Feverest, Malcolm, and Carlton, you are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's No Zone Spelling Champion. That's right. Now, the winner of this competition will win a No Zone Dictionary for the school and a very special prize for themselves. That's true. Now, each contender has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat, and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes. yes. Now, all of today's words are coming from our topic of... The school! <laughs> all right, let's get down to business. First up, Roylands, it's your turn. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Roylands, your 25 seconds starts now. Open. O-P-E-N. Ring. R-I-N-G. Class. C L A W S Ruler R U L E R Sweep S W W E P Lonely L O L O N E L Y Compound C O M P U N D Friday F Oh, time is up, Roylands. Thank you very well much. Done, Step on back. Very well, well done. done. Favorest, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Favorist, your 25 seconds starts now. Shut. S S H I R T. Time. T I M E. Clean. C L E A N. Exam. E X A M. Story. S T O R E. Happily. Pass. Sharpener. Well, well done, done Everest. Very well, well done, done Everest. Well done, well done. All right, Malcolm, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Malcolm, your 25 seconds starts now. Pen. P E N. Bell. B E double L. Noise. N O I S E. Poem. Pass. Drink. D R I N K. Quickly. Pass. Assembly. E A double S. Ah, well done. Nice. Time is up. Very well done. Good job. <laughs> and finally, Carlton, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Carlton, your 25 seconds starts now. Stop. Pass. Read. R E A D. Paper. P A P E R. Speak. S P E A K. Desk. D E S K. Neatly. Pass. Playground. P L A A Y. <laughs> All right, good very well done. Good job, good job. Well done, all of you. Now, Charlie, mm -hmm. can you please reveal the scores? All right. Now, everybody did very well, but of course, there can only be one No Zone Spelling Champion. So here we go. I'll start with Carlton. You did very well and spelled four words correctly. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> well done. Malcolm, you also got four words correct. Well done to the both of you. Favorist, you got one, two, three, four words correct. Well done. And that leaves Roylands. Roylands, you have spelt one, two, three, four, five, Six words correctly. Which means today's No Zone Spelling Champion with six points is Rylands. Step forward, Rylands. 
congratulations. You are today's No Zone Spelling Champion. Here's your dictionary. Show everyone at home your dictionary. Another round of applause. <laughs> congratulations, Roylands. Congratulations. And of course, congratulations to all of you for spelling so many words correctly. Now, come on up and get your storybooks. Go get your storybooks. Now though, it's time for us to go and join Teacher Pendo and she's going to be helping making our English cool. So that we can do better in school. Hey, that's a rhyme. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for cool words. <laughs> Welcome back to Cool Words. Now on the board, I have some words. In the first column, I have some activities. Read my book, sing the song, open the door, sweep the compound, finish my homework. And in the next column, I have some describing words. Quietly, happily, quickly, neatly, slowly. Notice how all the describing words end in li. Now, I'd like us to make some sentences using both columns. Now, who would like to go first? Yes, Elizabeth? I read my book quietly. Uh -huh, very good. Someone else? Yes, Lisa? Sing the song happily. Excellent. Someone else? Yes, Wanjiro? Open the door quickly. Well done. Someone else? Yes, Bulabek? Sweep the compound neatly. Excellent. And Marara, do you want to give us the last one? Oh, yeah. Um, finish my homework slowly. It's good that you take your time with your homework, Marara. Now, why don't you keep practicing writing sentences using describing words that end in li? Sadly, we've come to the end of today's cool words. Happily, coming up is something that you're going to enjoy. And uh, what is that, Ichipendo? Well, it's time for Story Zone. This is the story of the monkey who skipped school. Enjoy. One day, as the sun rose, Mama Monkey woke up Monkey. Time to get up. It's time for school, she said with a big smile on her face. Monkey stretched out with a big yawn, proceeding to pull the blanket over him. Come on, wake up. Think of all the fun you'll have. Maybe the teacher will tell you a story, said, said Mama as she drew the curtains, filling the room with bright sunshine. But Monkey wouldn't move. Mama quickly pulled the blanket off Monkey, but he refused to budge. It's time for school. Maybe you'll write a poem, said Mom. Monkey turned to his mother and gave her his smile and said, I cannot go to school today. I must stay home and play. Getting angry, mother gr went to grab Monkey, but he quickly hid under his bed. Out of reach, he said, go away. This monkey is not going anywhere. Not today. What a rude monkey. Mama Monkey's face turned red with rage and steam coming out of her ears. Fine, you skip school, but trust me, you won't enjoy it, said Mama. Happily, Monkey got out of his hiding place and looked out the window, ready to begin his adventure. Heading out into the forest, Monkey was soon swinging through the trees. What freedom! Who needed stories and poems when he could be having these adventures? Then he found a tree filled with delicious fruit. Quickly, he began to eat until his tummy grew and grew. Soon, he was very full. Feeling in need of some exercise, Monkey went swimming in the lake. Diving in and out of the water, he was having an amazing time, doing backward rolls and jumping out of the water. He really was having a perfect day. It was time to go home, so happily, Monkey set off on his journey home. As he was walking through the forest, suddenly, he tripped on a branch. 
Before he realized what was happening, he was falling down to a great big hole. Farther and farther he fell until eventually he landed on the floor with a big bang. But the hole was so deep he had no idea how he was going to escape. He shouted and shouted but nobody could hear him. He was too far down. What was he going to do? He was trapped. There was nobody around. They were all at school. Monkey let out the final scream. As if from nowhere a rope appeared, Monkey grabbed hold of it and climbed his way out of the hole. Who should he see as he reached the ground? His mom, of course. I said that he wouldn't enjoy skipping school, his mom said. Monkey bowed his head and apologized for being rude. Sorry, mom, for being a fool. I should have listened and gone to school. Happily, they made their way home back through the forest. From that day forward, Monkey never skipped school again. He always went to school and listened to his mother. From Story Zone, this is Quizzy Quiz. Where did Monkey go instead of school? Monkey went to the forest. Who gave Monkey the rope to climb out of the hole? Monkey was given the rope by his mom. That was a great story. Did you all enjoy it? Yeah! I especially enjoyed Quizzy's quiz. Now, did you answer any of the questions? Yeah! Excellent. Now, thank you very much for coming out to help us with today's show. You are all great. Did you have fun? Yeah! That was brilliant! And we hope you had fun at home as well. Now, do not forget that we will be back right here, same time, next week for more fun and games and learning. Right here on the Nose Zone. Come on, everyone, let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye.